It's to Nigeria now, where a growing number of children are acutely malnourished and in desperate need of humanitarian assistance. There are more cases in the northeastern part of the country. That's a region plagued with poverty and terrorism. We'll hear from a specialist working with the government on the problem after this report from the capital, Abuja, where DW's Amaka Okoye met a mother whose child is malnourished. Halima works when she can, making caps to sell. But much of her time is taken up looking after Usman, her son. He's more than a year old, but he cannot crawl or even sit up alone. I discovered my son had a problem when he was three months old. I took him to the hospital because I saw he was different from other children his age. He couldn't sit or do what other children could do. The hospital confirmed he was malnourished. They said he was stunted and needed food for growth and action. Halima tried to breastfeed her son. But as she herself was mostly without food, her body could not produce enough milk, and she could not afford milk powder. The hope for help from the hospital did not come about either. They asked me to bring about one million naira, and I would be referred to the National Hospital for treatment. But I told them, I have never seen a million naira myself, and I don't have this kind of money for my son either. Many people in her community depends on charity for nutritious food. We see the joy on their faces after receiving some food shared by donors. But it is not every day that this gets to happen. It might take some time before they receive this kind gesture again. Halima does what she can and her husband works as a bike man. But they can rarely afford more than millet, pap and maize. Very little protein or vegetables. I ask her whether she gets any help from the authorities. Honestly, only NGOs or rich people come to help, but not the government. We have not gotten any support or help from the government. They come here and interview us and we tell them all of our challenges and they make promises. But we never get a response from them thereafter, nothing from them. Halima knows several families where malnutrition has left their children with developmental problems. UNICEF says only two of every ten Nigerian children affected gets the treatment they need. And I'm now joined by Dr. Osita Okonko. He works for an organization called Nutrition International. They run programs aimed at tackling malnutrition in affected countries. Dr. Okonko is based in Nigeria as country director. So welcome to DW News uh, Africa, sir. So the government in Nigeria has described malnutrition as, quote, a silent crisis. Uh, why is malnutrition so widespread in Nigeria? We have a country where there is a high level of poverty, and the poverty is such that um, the ability of the families to have access to just food is reduced due to that, and the income level of people is um, quite on the low side. And again, we have a crisis in the northeast of the country where there is uh, insecurity, and that has also meant that um, families do not have access to uh, um, crops. Uh, crops are destroyed, livelihoods are destroyed, people are displaced from their homes. So um, there is a whole of, um, lot of uh, distraught mm. in the family structure, and that has also affected the ability for people to farm and right. then to be able to have a livelihood that is adequate for them. Right. Your, your organization, a Nutritional International, advises governments on how to tackle the problem of malnutrition. Uh, what has your advice to the authorities in Nigeria been? 
Yes, we, we have we, we, we kind of work with the government of Nigeria to ensure there is a multi sectoral approach and collaboration from stakeholders, both in the public and private sector, to address this huge problem. And then to help the government to identify areas of need to for the investment in nutrition. But of course, um, government also needs to address using a more dimensional approach involving both government at the state level, the, the federal, and of course at the local community levels. We also go ahead to help the government to do research. One of the research we do is to also ascertain aspect of what is good fit for interventions in the, in the communities. And those has also helped the government to form policies that have helped to ameliorate the problems. So beyond that, we, we provide support for vitamin A supplementation in the country through our partnership with the government and other partners. And that has also helped to give two, 20, 23 million children access to vitamin A supplementation in the last year. So our partnership with government of Nigeria as uh, ally of government has been a huge, um, has seen a huge impact in how government has been able to tackle nutrition in the country. All right, that is Dr. Osita Onkonkwo, Country Director for Nutrition International in Nigeria. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. God bless you.